So, now, here we go. Are all beams exactly the same? No, okay? So, for example, check it out. Let's say that this is one beam of light, and this right here was another beam of light. There we go. So just from looking at these, you can, and oh man, my drawing is terrible, but what can you do? Um, just from looking at these, you can tell they're different, right? You can tell these two beams of light are different, but we need some ways that we can describe how it's different. And so I'm just gonna go into right now a couple of properties of a, uh, a wave of light. Um, and actually most of these properties work for all uh, waves, but uh, we're talking about light specifically. Um, and then we'll go into the different kinds of light that there are, okay? So first up, the first property of light that you can use to distinguish between these things is this distance right here. So this length right here has a name. Does anybody know what that is called? That little thing that I labeled right there. Does anybody know what that is? is called. What is this length right here called? And I'm giving you a little bit of a hint. What is that length called? Give a couple more people a chance real quick just to see if anybody's got it. That's okay. It's called wavelength. So we'll get the frequency in a little bit. But this, this length right here is called the wavelength. You guys are right that frequency is another property that's important, but this is called the wavelength. And a lot of times, if you've taken a math class or something, you're gonna have a very fancy way to describe what a wavelength is, like the distance from a peak to the next peak, or uh, if you'll notice here, check this out, if I, if you look at this distance right here, you'll notice the length from there to there is the same, right? Um, but that's all fancy and mathy. What does a wavelength mean? What is the simplest way to define a wavelength? What does it mean? What does a wavelength mean? What's the simplest way to define that? You know what? I'll give it to you. Here you go. What's a wave length it's the oh it looks like some people are going to try it it's way more basic it's the length of a wave yes it's the length of a wave all a wavelength is is the length of a wave, okay? So I said that this was a wave right here, but a better thing for me to do is to say that this is a beam of light made of several waves, okay? And the same thing for this. This is a different beam made of several waves. It turns out one wave is one complete back and forth motion. Okay, one complete back and forth motion is one wave. So from here to here is one wave. And from here, so from here to here is one wave. From here to here is the next wave. From here to the next peak, that's another wave. And so if we look down here, this one has a lot more waves. From here to here, that's one wave. And then from there to there, that's the next wave, and so on and so on and so on, right? So the wavelength is the length of one individual wave, okay? So clearly these two have uh, different wavelengths. You know what? Let's go ahead and label this top one wave, uh, beam A and this one down here beam B so that you guys can do some quick little multiple choice right here. Which one of these waves has a bigger wavelength, A or B? Which one has a longer wavelength? A, right? It's definitely A. Um, because 
Down here on B, we have a lot more waves packed into the same space. So that means they have to be shorter to be packed in like that. So the wavelength for this B down here is only that, okay? So this is wavelength for A, this is the wavelength for B. A has a longer wavelength, okay? Um, now, before we move on to the next property, two things we need to describe, two things we need to say. Um, we are gonna see a couple of small equations in a little bit. Um, don't worry, they're not complicated. But we need a letter to represent wavelength in equations. We need a variable. So a variable is just a letter that represents a concept, in this case, wavelength, so that we can put that in an equation instead of the word wavelength. Um, do any of you guys happen to know what letter we use for wavelength? Um, I think most math classes use this. Um, it's not W, it's actually a Greek letter instead. It's not a regular English alphabet letter. Um, it's a Greek letter. I don't think that your keyboard can actually type it um, unless you know like a bunch of weird shortcuts. It does look like an upside down Y. That's, that's, that's close enough. Um, it's going to look like this, so I'll just write it right here underneath this wavelength. And you know what? I'll write it on this wavelength also. There we go. Um, it looks like an upside down Y. It's called lambda. It's called lambda. It's a lowercase Greek lambda. Um, this symbol is going to show up from time to time throughout the rest of this class, uh, and it will always mean wavelength. A lot of times when they make graphs, they'll just, on one of the axes, they'll just put this symbol so that you know that that's wavelength on that graph, okay? So, this symbol is for wavelength. Now, um, this is a wavelength, so we need to know what units it's going to use. In other words, um, a unit is a, a little thing you put next to a number to say how, what units, should you, it's kind of hard to put into words. Um, a good, here you go, here's an example of a wavelength unit, centimeters, right? Centimeters is a unit of distance, so wavelength can be measured in centimeters, okay? Um, oh, and there's a lot of lawn mowing going on outside my window, so if it if it gets too hard or hard to hear, let me know if it, if it overtakes my audio, okay? So let me know, please. All right. Um, now, here we go. So, units for wavelength for, uh, for light, okay? Here we go. Let's put it this way. So here we go. Concept. Oops. Concept. Concept. Variable. Unit. All right. So the con. Is that how you spell concept? <laughs> That's. It's, it's, it's messing with my head. I'm terrible at spelling. Is this how you spell concept? Yes or no? Good. Okay. Thanks. All right. So the concept is wavelength. The variable is lambda. And the units can be any distance unit. Okay? For, for light... Any distance unit is okay. So we can have meters, we can have centimeters, we can have millimeters, we can have kilometers. Real quick, check this out. This is metric system. I know that if you're from the USA, you're probably not so good with the metric system. Um, but pretty much the entire rest of the world is, 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 is on it, okay? Pretty much the entire rest of the world is on it. Um, so let's make sure we understand. A meter is about a yard, okay? So a little bit bigger than this, okay? So here's my question. Centimeters. Are centimeters big or small? 
Are centimeters big or small? Small, right? Centimeters are small. They're about the width of a finger, give or take, right? So centimeters are the width of your finger. Millimeters are even smaller, okay? How about a kilometer, the km? What's the kilometer? Is that big or small for kilometers? Big, right? Kilometers are big, okay? So a kilometer is a thousand meters because does anybody know what kilo means? What does kilo, K-I-L-O, or K-I-L-O, what does kilo mean? It means 1,000. So if you have a K on anything, uh, it's always going to mean 1,000 of that thing. So kilometers is 1,000 meters. Um, kilograms would be 1,000 grams, okay? Uh, any Kilo anything is 1,000 of that, okay? Um, now, there's one last distance unit I want to throw on there, which we are going to see in a little bit, and that is nanometers, NM, nanometers. Um, and that's the last one I want to ask here. Is a nanometer um, a really high, uh, a really big unit or a very small amount of meters? Is a nanometer big or small? Yeah, if you go anywhere outside of the United States, you're going to have to get used to seeing kilometers everywhere. But yeah, nanometers are small. Nanometers is the smallest one that I've written right here, okay? Um, nanometers are 0 .0, eight zeros, and then a one meters, okay? So a nanometer... One nanometer equals point oh 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 one meters. So when you think nano, think very very small. Oops, that's coming off my page. Very 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 small. Okay, so boom. So wavelength. That's wavelength.